Go for it, brother. All right, so just to kind of start off, just what do you guys have to take from the last Illinois game that you can apply uh, tomorrow night? Um, you know, just come out and fight. Uh, you know, they're going to come out and be scrappy. Um, you know, obviously, they can execute. Uh, we, we know what they're doing. Um, at this point, it's with us. It's just about the fight. You said right after that game, you know, from here on out, I'm going to fight everybody in front of me, whether it's in practice, whether it's in games. Has that game kind of brought that out of you a little bit more? Um, it's been like, for me, it's just been like, uh, you know, just trying to get my teammates to battle as much. Uh, even obviously, I'm going to hold myself accountable. Right. Uh, but, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get my teammates to continue to battle every single day. Uh, that's what we've been doing. Um, right. And it's just got to translate to the game. I'm going to keep talking to them, keep pushing them, keep motivating them. Right. Um, and just keep being an energy guy. You sort of changed that game on Saturday with your defense. Have you, were you, you doing anything different in that game? Did anything kind of, I guess, bring out a higher level of whatever it might be from um, you? Just playing with confidence, uh, defensively and offensively, just going out there and just battling, um, pressuring the ball, pushing it, finding my teammates, finding an easy layup for myself, uh, and just going out there and playing with energy. I, I know you're kind of always this way, but is anything – Kind of convinced you, hey, I need to lead this team competitively mm -hmm. as a competitor um, uh, more than anything else. For sure, yeah. um, you know, obviously we got talented players on this yeah. team. Uh, we know what we're capable of, capable of. Um, you know, I was going to be the guy just to try to lead. You know, just try to try to give motivation, give uh, extra push, not to bring somebody down, not to you know yell at somebody, but uh, just right. to stay on, to keep them accountable. Uh, and I tell them to keep the account same accountability for me as well. Um, you know, just going to continue just to push them so we can go out there uh, do it during the game. What's different for you when you're kind of the four, mm -hmm. if anything? I mean, offensively, defensively? Yep. Um, you know, for me, it's just more like uh, advantages uh, on the ball, yeah. um, you know, for pushing it. Uh, I could rebound, get off the rim, push it, transition. Right. Um, you know, it just gives us more speed, um, maybe a little less size, but more speed. Um, I'm going to battle regardless if I have to guard mm -hmm. uh, the four, the, the one, the two, the three, the four, the five. Um, but for our group, for me, it just keeps me – Keep me moving. Keeps uh, allows me to set ball screens. Allows me to roll. Allows me to short roll. You know, just to right. just find the advantages on that side or both sides of the ball. Just it seems like you know when you post up a bigger guy, you can spin off mm -hmm. him. You can go past them. Yep. I mean, is that a, that's a favorable matchup to you? Oh, uh, you know, I don't, for me, I don't. It doesn't matter if you're six eight, six seven, six nine. Right. Um, if I feel like I can post you up, um, I'm going to do so. I'm going to try to do so. And if I'm in transition, right. I'm just going to use my speed, my strength, just to get to the rim. At one point last year, I, you, you know, started seeing the ball go in the basket a little bit. That mm -hmm. made you a more confident, more yep. aggressive player. It looked like. Mm -hmm. Could Saturday have been that game for you? Oh, for sure. Um, just letting everything just go. Yeah. Going out there playing. Going out there just giving it my all. No matter if the the results of the game, just yeah. going out there and giving my all and allowing my teammates to give their all. Uh, and if we do that, it's going to allow us to all play more confident. You'd mentioned you need to play free. Mm -hmm. What's the key for you to playing free? You know, just letting everything go. Just you know, just going out there when we step between the lines. Just let my competitive spirit come out, um, and just you know, just allow myself to play basketball. I'm not the type of guy to to be selfish. To just go out there, okay, just playing freely means go out there and take a lot of shots. Now that's not me. Playing freely is uh, allowing uh, my opportunities for me to get to the rim, allowing open shots for my teammates, getting my teammates going. Um, you know, giving us energy. You know, that's the the free me. Uh, when I'm not talking, when I'm not mm -hmm. being that type of vocal of a leader, then that's not me being free. What keeps you from being free in that sense? I mean, is there anything that weighs on you that you have to kind of insulate yourself um, from it's to just do something, that? It's just something with me. Uh, it was just more with like anything, more, more else with it. it was just me, me right. overthinking, me, you know, putting pressure on myself and, and stuff like that. But, um, but for now, I'm just going to go out there and play free no matter the results, no matter if I miss 10 shots, no matter if I miss two, I'm just going to go out there and just play free.